this is my task on X8 audio recorder. But I never understand like what's what's the benefit of an audio recorder, uh, especially a handheld recorder if it's not provided with the adequate wind killer. Uh, the problem is at the moment I have something attached to it which is pretty much rubbish, pretty much useless. This is something a brand uh, called Gutman. Um, strangely enough this is quite a popular uh, handheld recorder it, it has his kvits that means you know battery life uh, we are talking about touch screen we are talking about the fact that it has this ultrasonic hum but nevertheless it is provided with two microphones that are here on top of that and uh, those microphones obviously you can uh, attach and detach them in a certain pattern you can put them in a b or you can put them in uh, x y uh, pattern for example uh, just for the sake of this demonstration uh, today i'm just going to use the a b pattern and um, sure there are differences in, in in sound stage if you want to to call it like this but even this everything is, is is kind of flimsy everything is yeah I finally got it it's kind of I don't know rattling and, and, and kind of cheap made but the advantage is that this is a 32-bit clock recorder which means that you don't have to uh, for example set gain and especially if you're a solo shooter like myself it helps a lot because it's, it's just another thing that uh, you don't have to worry about but obviously as I said what is a handheld recorder even if you are provided with a microphone that you can set in different patterns if something like wind you know which is a nuisance would going to ruin your recording so there is obviously a difference between wind noise and wind sound most of the time we don't want to hear the wind because you know we're not necessarily in a horror movie so we get wind noise now, if you go outside and you try to record like this, it will be impossible and it won't work. Uh, inside, it may work. You can use this as a sound capture device. You know, you, you can record your voice, you can record instruments, whatever you do, but inside. Outside is a completely different story. Even the slightest breeze will, will, uh, will make things worse. Now, strangely enough, and this is not the first time, okay, all the other companies are doing the same thing. Uh, a handheld recorder is not necessarily provided with uh, adequate uh, wind protector. Um, certainly not this Tascam recorder. So I initially bought this Gutman, which is it's rubbish. Basically, it, it does nothing. Uh, it was advertised as as a wind protector for this particular device, but it doesn't really fit. And even if you try it or somehow it fitted nicely it is quite fiddling and it never actually uh, protects the microphone as it should because the wind will, will, will find its its way its way underneath the audio recorder so I went into a recent shoot in Lucini hopefully I managed to film uh, to edit the video and post it on the channel and I put my trust in this recorder and in this wind uh, shield and it was absolutely rubbish like I, I did not get uh, the results that I was hoping and luckily the good people from uh, Bubble Bee they came out with a new uh, wind protector it's made especially for the Tascam X8 and uh, I just received it they are based in, in Denmark they make uh, professional uh, wind protection and whatnot for multiple devices and I ordered this on a weekend I think it was Friday and uh, I did not receive any further information and yesterday and today it was uh, on my doorstep <laughs> so you just have to have a little bit of patience uh, with them they will send you the, the goods and don't worry about it now on their website there is a video advertised uh, 
there is a demonstration how good this uh, uh, wind killer is but obviously the test that they did was kind of <laughs> problematic in terms that they used the recorder without any wind protection at all which is very unlikely to to be the scenario and then they they put this windshield on top of the recorder and obviously the sound was much better but any windshield will give you a certain degree of protection so you can't simply compare a microphone barely naked in wind with something on so it doesn't look like this anyway nothing much in the box but actually with another box and inside this box is the wind killer se which is which is nice to have so it's just it just comes in this uh, box and gives you a pouch which smells very industrial i don't know what you can use this pouch probably if you think about it this pouch you can use it for for cables or something else i wouldn't yeah it's it's decent you can i can find a use for it and there it is some instructions some welcome card so this is now <laughs> the the wind protection itself yeah there is an elastic band and it's kind of fluffy looks like a like a soldier cap and there is a push-in button here that it will uh, that you can secure it with yeah it's it's decent decent quality now this is for a b configuration this is the a b configuration this is the way you have to set the microphones uh, in your tascam x8 in this uh, for this in order to work why because the way you you place this wing protection as they show it in the video basically this tongue here of fur you put it in between the microphones like so and then with some patience <laughs> you're going to wrap around the microphone the rest of the winch protection like this now further there is a pushing button like i said and this should secure the device somehow. Let's see if I can get it. Should be able to get it. And then the whole thing has this form and shape. Uh, obviously, it's I would say it's it's kind of bulky, but. It's better to be bulky rather than come home and realize that there is a lot of uh, wind noise in your uh, recordings which obviously won't help you uh, obviously this is very very light it it weighs almost nothing and uh, we'll go outside to make a test you know just to see how it works see you in a bit So now we're back, we uh, learned nothing from it, but still what happens is it looks much 
moon looks much better at the bubble bee compared to the good one which probably I'm just going to throw away give it to someone else for free I don't know I don't I'm not going to use it again uh, I like how this is very snugly fit and um, now what happens is we have to have realistic expectations you obviously you cannot go that in a, in a, in a very strong storm this is probably rated up to 40 kilometers per hour of wind which is which is quite strong and unpleasant I, I don't know why would you record the movie in such um, circumstances unless it's like for a big budget but then you're not going to use this you're going to use a blimp for YouTube videos small channels like mine probably I wouldn't bother to go out in a storm so uh, the problem is I usually film at the seaside and there's no way there you're not going to be a day without wind like that that would be a very very rare but usually wind is somewhere around 20 30 kilometers per hour and I think this is just ideal I think I hope um, may not be sufficient further test needs to work I have to to do further testing uh, we'll take it from there um, I have a shoot now coming in this weekend and I'll go to a certain uh, lighthouse again in Barbregan so we'll put these two spaces and we'll come back probably with more opinion for the moment I, I'm I'm happy with it and um, I think it's a safe purchase see you next time